Hello everyone and welcome to Black Star Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here today with musicteacher.com. And in this video, we're gonna be checking out three classic Red Hot Chili Peppers riffs and checking out how to dial in some of those John Frusciante star tones using only the St. James 6R6 and Cab Rig. All of the tones you're hearing in this video are coming from the Black Star St. James 6R6. The settings I'm gonna be using will appear on screen right now. I'm actually running the amp on the drive channel, but with the drive set very, very low. These settings will get you in that Frusciante tonal ballpark. He's also known for playing many different guitars, but predominantly he's associated with a Strat. So I'm using my early 1980s Tokai Strat for this. I'm staying on the neck pickup for all of the examples you hear. If you enjoy any of the tones you hear in this video, you can download the patches for Cab Rig down below by hitting the link in the description, put them into your own St. James Cab Rig setup, and use those settings that came up on screen from the top of the amp to get you in that Frusciante tonal ballpark. So what we're going to do now is we're going to check out three classic Chili Peppers riffs and the tones that go with them. I put each of these tones into a mix with other instruments to give you an idea of how it sounds in the finished track. And you can let me know at the end of the video how close you think I got. Like I said, you can download these patches yourself and try them out in your own setup too. The first one we're going to check out is the tone for the track Californication. And it sounds like this. Now we're going to jump over into cab rig and find out how I got that tone. So Fashanti usually uses a pretty simple amp setup. He definitely favors a combination of Fender style guitars, especially strats, plugged into British voiced amps. Now even though the St. James 6R6 is predominantly leaning towards an American voice because of those 6R6 tubes, the drive channel does actually have a slight British voice to it. So we can really get quite close to some of these Fashanti tones. So let's head over to cab rig now and you'll see that I'm using a pair of 4x12 cabs. Now these are panned hard left and right, so if you listen to this with headphones, you'll hear each of these cabs left and right. The cab on the left is a 4x12 Classic UK, so again, going with the British voice here. And on the right, we have a modern UK ceramic. Now, Frusciante doesn't really use any modern gear, he's definitely more of a vintage tone guy, but for this track, I definitely found the modern ceramic speakers gave it a little bit more of a top end sparkle for this particular riff. Now this is completely dry, so we've got no reverb on this. It's a pretty dry sound. The first cab is mic'd with a 414 condenser mic, and the second cab is mic'd with a 421 dynamic mic. So we've got those dynamic mics, they really give a nice full balanced sound. And I've also applied some EQ treatment to each cab as well. So the first cab, we've got a low cut at 155 Hertz, We've got a slight scoop here in the low mids, just taking some of those out and really bumping up that top end to get some sparkle. And the high cut is actually set at 13K. The EQ for the second cab is even more extreme. So we've got a low boost and a high boost with even more scoop in there in the mids. The high cut set very high here, 15K, and the low cut at 144 Hertz. And I've also applied some EQ to the master bus. Bring the high cut back to about eight just to shave off some of the additional top end that we don't want that we got by boosting the cabs. And then again, a slight scoop there in the lower mids just to clean up the tone a little bit. Now, Fashanti did have a slightly scooped tone. This just kind of replicates what you would hear on the recorded version of the track. So that's why I put that EQ on the master bus to kind of simulate the treatment that the recorded guitar tone would have gone through in the record making process. The guitars might not have sounded like this in the room, but by the time they hit the record, that is what happened to them. The second tone we're going to check out is from the track Can't Stop, and it sounds like this.
this tone, we have a slightly different approach. So if we head over to cab rig, we're actually using some different cabs here. On the left, we're still using the 4x12 Classic UK, but this time it's mic'd with an SM57 mic. The dynamic mic is great for capturing really punchy and percussive guitar tones. On the right side, we've got a 412 Vintage. Now this is definitely more in line with John's vintage vibes and the sort of gear that he prefers to use. This cab is mic'd with a 421 dynamic mic, once again, just to get that nice big round sound. EQ was on the first cab, we've still got that low mid scoop. Very, very important to get that scooped sound. Even though this is a British voice, we still want to scoop it back a little bit. And again, the highs are pushed. And the very same thing on cab two. This is actually the same EQ settings as the first patch. We've got a bit more of an extreme scoop just to differentiate between the two cabs. And the master bus is actually a lot flat at this time. So we've got a very slight scoop in the low mids, but everything else is more or less around about zero. So there's nothing too extreme going on there. We do have a medium room sound for this one running in stereo, just blend it in about six and a half dB below unity gain. So just a little bit of space there. And obviously you can add more space to taste if you want. The third and final tone we're gonna break down is from the track Danny California. And it sounds like this. So for this one, I'm actually using exactly the same cab arrangement. So on the left, you've got the 412 Classic and on the right, the 412 Vintage. Mics are the same as well. We've got a 57 on the left and a 421 on the right. Now, what is different here is some of the EQ sounds. So the first cab is a lot less extreme now in terms of scoop. We've only dipped the low mids by about a dB and a half and the highs are only boosted by about two and a half dB, just a little push there on the top end. And then the second cab's EQ is much flatter, but there's actually a bit more of a low end bump here, just to give us a nice round sound to this track with a very, very slight high end boost as well. Then we've got the room. We're using a medium room here, which is blended in quite a bit more. We're just below zero dB there, just to give a bit more space. And then on the master EQ, we've actually got quite a scoop on the high mids. So this track is actually very kind of low mid focused. It's quite punchy. It's almost like a Hendrixy type sound. So the lows and the mids are pushed a bit to give it a bit more of a percussive sound. The high mids are brought down a little bit just to retain a slight bit of that scoop. And we don't want too much brightness in this riff. So the highs are actually brought down by about a dB and a half. And we've actually got the high cut set to just under 8K for this. So we are sweeping off quite a lot of the brightness there. This guitar riff is very sort of Hendrixy. It's very mid focused and quite percussive sounding, so we don't want too much going on in the top end. So there you go, there is a breakdown of three John Frusciante style guitar tones using just the St. James XL6 and cab rig. You guys can use these patches yourself. They're all linked down below in the description. You can use them as standalone patches or jam along with your favorite Chili Pepper songs like I've done in this video. Let me know what you think of the sound of these patches and let me know how close you think I got. Frusciante predominantly sets his amps quite clean, which is what we've gone for here. And obviously in different Chili Pepper songs, you can stack up different effects. John is a big fan of things like overdrive and fuzz, but in these particular riffs, we focused on just the core clean tones. If there are any other artists you guys would like to see us make these videos about and dial in tones in the style of using the St. James amp and cab rig, let us know down below in the description. Don't forget to check out Black Star Amplification on YouTube for more videos just like this. And like I said, the patches are down below in the description. If you want to download those, go and hit that link and put these into your own St. James Cabric setup. And if you're looking for a guitar teacher in your local area, please check out musicteacher.com. It's a great network of teachers all around the country waiting to help you guys out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon.